friends, today we're going to draw Rainbow Dash. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. You ready to start? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We're going to start by drawing her eye right in the middle of our paper. And we're going to draw a circle. And it's about that size. Kind of a big circle, huh? Mm -hmm. Right in the middle. So you can start right there. Okay. This is, this is her pupil. So we're going to draw two more circles inside that are smaller. And these are going to be the light reflecting in her eyes. Okay. It's a little shine. Yeah, so that's at the top right. And then we'll do a smaller one down here in the bottom left. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the little circles white. Okay. Now let's draw her other eyes. So she has two. We're going to draw an oval this time, and it's going to be right next to her other eye. And we want it to be tall. See how tall it is? Mm -hmm. The same height, but it's squished this way. Good. And then we're going to draw those same smaller circles inside. So one at the top and a smaller one down at the bottom. And then color in the big circle and leave the little ones white. Good. Now let's draw her eyelashes. We're going to draw a curve, a big upside down U shape that goes over her eye and comes back down. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So you can start right here, touch her eye and then over and then end over here. Okay. Yeah. And then let's add three little eyelashes sticking out. Okay. Okay, let's draw her nose next and then we'll finish her other eye. So right here we're going to draw her little nose and it's just going to stick out. It's going to be really small. <laughs> it's just a little small nose that pops out right there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then we're going to curve back around for her jaw, and we're going to come under and then curve back up. Is that cute? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's start right here and do a, a kind of a smile. We're going to draw a smile that curves down and then back up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's draw her smile now. We're going to draw a little curve right here for her smile. And then also draw her little nostril. <laughs> She's cute. Just like you. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the side of her head, and it's a curve that comes down into her nose. So we're going to curve right here and into her nose. Cute. Yeah. And then we can draw the top of her eye going into the side of her head like that. Is that cute? Mm-hmm. And then let's draw three little eyelashes sticking out of the side of her head, oh. side of her eye. <laughs> One, two, three. Three. Perfect. Now let's draw her ear and we're going to draw a leaf shape. So we'll start right here above her eye. We'll draw a curve up and then back down. It's like a curved A. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. An a shape. Yeah, that's a good spot. And go up and then back down. And when you go back down, go down a little further than where you started. That's a cute ear, Hads. I like it. Okay, now let's draw her hair coming down her neck. We're going to draw an S line that starts right here. So we're going to curve one way and then we're going to curve back the other way. See how that looks like an S? Mm -hmm. So curve down and back. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to draw the other side of her hair. So draw one little curve that comes this way. And then a zigzag line back. And then we're going to draw a curve going the other direction. Yes. And then a little zigzag back up. And then connect it to the other line. Good. Now, her hair is different colors, so let's put two stripes in there. We're going to draw one stripe here at the top, and then we'll draw another stripe right below it. Okay, now let's draw the hair on top of her head. We're going to start right here next to her ear, and we're going to curve down in between her eyes. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to draw an M. We'll go up down, up, down. You see how that looks like an M? Mm -hmm. Up, down. <laughs> up, down. down. <laughs> down. 
And then we're going to draw one more zigzag back. <laughs> now we're going to draw the curl or the hair that goes over her eye. Good. Awesome. Now let's draw a big curve going back over her head. Wee. And then we're going to draw some more zigzags. So let's draw a small zigzag. Yes. Good. And then let's draw that line. Let's have that line come further over her head. There we go. And then let's draw another zigzag line back. See how we're getting close to her ear? It looks like a lightning bolt, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to draw a couple more zigzags for messy hair. It looks like another M shape, huh? Mm -hmm. And then connect it into her ear right here. Okay. Yes, we did it. Now she has stripes on top of her head too. So let's draw two more stripes. One connects to her ear. Then we're gonna draw one more that starts way over here and curves into her ear. Oh, we did it, Hads, good job, we finished her head. And she looks really cute, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's add one more detail to her ear, just a little curve inside her ear. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. What is she missing? Um, her butt. Her body, let's start with her neck. We're gonna draw a J shape starting right under her chin. So we'll come down and then curve, and it's a really short J, backwards J. Good job, Hads. Now, you drew it really kind of far away from her hair, and that's okay. They look a little different, right? Mm -hmm. Most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun, and it's okay because we're practicing, and the next time we get up draw, we could draw her neck a little closer to her hair, and then her neck won't be so wide, mm -hmm. but that's okay. She's gonna look super cute still. Yeah. All right, let's draw her legs next. So we're gonna draw two lines. This is her first, the first leg, the front of her leg, and then we're gonna leave a little space and watch this, see at the bottom, see how that gets further apart? Mm -hmm. So we can start close and then get further apart at the bottom. And this is for the back of her leg and then let's connect the bottom, the two lines with a curve. Okay. There's her leg, that's her first leg. Now let's draw her second leg, her second front leg, and we're gonna draw an L shape. It's gonna come down and then connect into her other foot. Is that a cute? We're kind of drawing a cute cartoon version. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like it. <laughs> now let's draw her belly, and we're going to imagine this line. See the, the neckline that comes right here? We're going to imagine it coming around and coming back up. So we'll start right here, and we'll curve back up. Okay. Now let's draw her wings. We're going to draw a big upside-down U-shape. One. Okay. Right next to her hair. One. One upside down U, and then we're gonna draw another upside down U. And then we're gonna draw one more, and this one's even smaller. Look how small that one is. <laughs> <Whee. laughs> now we're gonna draw three more feathers inside. So here's one, another one. You know what, and I, maybe I'll only be able to fit two. If you have room to fit another one, you can fit three in there. I'm just gonna draw two. Perfect, and what, you could draw one more right next to it. Good job. Okay, now let's draw her back legs. So we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw another line that comes down. Good, and let's have that one come down so it's the same as, yes, yeah, same as the, the front feet. Now let's draw her back. We can start up here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and almost touches her back leg. Okay. So we can start, let's start right here, and we'll start right on her wing and come down to about there. Now we're gonna draw the back of her leg, and we'll come out and down. Out and down. Yes. <laughs> and then connect the bottom, and we finish her back leg. Oh, she looks really cute. <laughs> <laughs> now she has one more leg, and we're gonna draw it way in the back, overlapping. So we'll draw another L shape that comes down and then connects in. So skinny. Yeah, skinny legs. <laughs> and then connect it at the bottom. Now what is she missing? Her tail. Yeah, she's missing her awesome tail. So let's draw a curve coming up and down. Up and down. And then we're gonna draw some zigzags. So here we go. We'll draw one, two, three. Looks like lightning. 
One, two, two three. three. And then we're going to draw the rest of the tail coming all the way down to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to draw the other side of her tail. We'll draw a smaller curve that comes in here. And then let's draw some more zigzags. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to draw a big curve that connects over to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now she has stripes on her tail, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. So let's draw a couple stripes. We're going to draw one up here that connects to the top. And then we'll draw another one that connects further down. And then one more. It goes all the way down. All the, almost all the way down. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add one more that connects further down, all the way down to the bottom. That's a good job. Give me five. You did awesome on drawing Rainbow Dash. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay, good. She's going to look even better once we color her. So we have our colored pencils, and we're going to fast forward this part, but you guys at home can pause the video once we finish so that you can match the coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right now. Hats, give me five. You did awesome on coloring Rainbow Dash. She looks super cute. Now you guys at home can pause the video to match the coloring that we did. Oh, we also left off her little cutie mark and mm -hmm. that was on purpose because we didn't really have a whole lot of room for her. Yeah. But you guys can add that if you want to. Now I really like this version of Rainbow Dash because she looks like a baby and we tried to keep this lesson super simple for a young artist. How old are you, Hats? Seven. You're seven. And some of our other My Little Pony lessons were a little challenging, weren't they? Mm -hmm. They were a little difficult and even they were even challenging for me so hopefully this one is a lot easier for our younger art friends yeah and we hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your own rainbow dash and we'll see you later art friends goodbye Bye.